Good afternoon, vinyl community. It's David Michael. Once again, this is uh, three videos in three days, and it's a bit excessive. I, I do know that. Um, I apologize for that. I probably won't post a video for um, for a bit, anyways. Um, but I've had a lot of fun the last couple of days uh, connecting with other people on YouTube who post video uh, videos of their finds, uh, vinyl hauls, and whatnot. So. Um, you know, I had a good night last night of watching a lot of videos, and uh, so I'm making one more video, uh, three in a th three in three days. Sorry. Um, what I did today, and by the way, I want to give everyone a shout out um, whose videos I've been watching. Um, I, I don't have any. Uh, I don't. I don't have a list of names. I don't want to leave anyone out, but uh, I've been leaving lots of nice comments for you and subscribing to your channels. Um, so. Cheers to you all. So today, um, like the other day, I used um, some return, or not return, trade credit. Um, as you can tell, nothing's rehearsed here. No production values, nothing's rehearsed. I used trade credit today, like the other day, and using trade um, to get records I don't have is not something that I've thought about for decades. It's something I would do as a kid when, and I think it was cassette tapes back then. Uh, you, you know, back then I would only have so many tapes and once I tired of them, I would make the long bus ride to a local record store. And I think the deal was, you know, you trade two, you get one. And that's how, we, you know, not having any money as a, as a young person, that's how I would get new tapes. So, that never really crossed my mind until um, a member who lives in my city here uh, of a YouTube vinyl community I'm on on Facebook called the YouTube Vinyl Community, oddly enough. He had made mention that he had traded some stuff in that had been laying around his house um, and he got a, a good chunk of trade credit and that kind of light bulb in my head went off that it's not something I've done for years and years. So I had a, I did it and I still haven't used all the trade credit because I brought down some really nice stuff I, I just didn't have any use for anymore. And that's what I did today. Um, I got some really nice stuff that I want to show you. Um, and shout out to James Val, who is the local uh, member of the YouTube Vinyl community that I'm on on Facebook. I saw him today. Um, and that was really nice uh, talking music and talking progressive rock with someone who I, I don't have anyone, I don't have any friends into that kind of stuff. So it was nice talking to him. So shout out to you, James. Um, so yeah, so before I went there, I stopped off at a local Goodwill that's on the way. And um, what I got there was a copy of uh, April Wine, Harder, Faster. I think it's uh, an album most Canadians have. They're just sold so many copies here, but this one is absolutely, it's, it, I mean, it, it's cliche to say that it looks un unplayed, but it really does look unplayed. And it's a much better copy than I have. So that was a dollar fine today. And George Strait. It's not something that's even on my radar. Um, I know uh, uh, there, there's a, another YouTuber and uh, another person on the Facebook group that I'm on, Liam. Hi, Liam. Who's really into George Strait and uh, I have a couple friends who are really into uh, country from this era. Uh, and it's so rare that I see um, country from this era and that this name stature um, in, in this kind of mint condition. And I found two today at Goodwill. And I have uh, several friends who will love getting these uh, as Christmas gifts. So I got a copy of uh, Something Special and a cop that's Something Special and Oceanfront Property. And like I said, I got some uh, friends who will be very thankful for that. So that was the uh, extent of my uh, thrift store finds going down to a local record store to use my trade credit. And I'm, I'm pointing here, but I can tell you, it's probably in that general direction over there. So what I got today, I'll start with the metal stuff I got. <clears throat> An album I've never seen on vinyl, um, and I'm going to guess because it probably didn't do a lot when it came out, but David Lee Roth, A Little Ain't Enough. So like I said, I've never seen this on vinyl. And I think 
I mean, I, I like David Lee Roth, and this was the fact that I just I don't see this record ever. That was enough to get me to pick it up and give it a try. I've not heard it probably since it came out years ago, um, 1991 apparently. So I'll give that another try. Steve Stevens, Atomic Playboys. Like a lot of like a lot of albums I show you. Um, I have a friend who, who was really looking for this album, and I had it, and uh, I don't even know. I think I just I think I just outright gave it to him. Um, he was very pleased. So I got a copy of that, and this one, like a lot of things I show you, and I trade, and I regret this one won't be leaving my collection anytime soon. Kind of a glam metal album I've been looking for for a long time. And it doesn't seem to be rare in other parts of the world, but in mine, once again, the first time I've seen it locally um, in my city is Rocks Gang, Things You've Never Done Before. And this is actually a pretty decent uh, kind of glam metal album. I have the CD, but um, a lot of these things that I'm seeing for the first time on vinyl, I'm, I'm grabbing them because who knows if I'll be able to see them again. So that was a nice find. Diamond Head, Borrowed Time. And I believe this is a, this is an American pressing actually. Um, and I, I'm familiar with Diamond Head. I, I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't think this is a, I, I don't know, I should probably have Googled this first, but I know MI Evil's on it, Enlightening to the Nation. So I'm gonna guess this might've been cobbled together for North American release. Um, and that's purely speculation on my part, but Already half the songs I know off of other albums they've done. So that's kind of my best guess, but I was very pleased to find that today. The Sea Hags. Uh, once again, like a few of my other finds the other day, very much in league with that uh, bluesy, kind of dirty, glam metal kind of thing that happened in the late 80s, early 90s. So that was a, I was really pleased to find that one today. And, excuse me, I think that's it for my metal finds, and I'm sorry. All this talking. So that was it for the metal finds. Um, the non-metal finds I had today is uh, Lenny Kraft's Let Love Rule. And talk about an exciting find. Mostly everything I'm showing you today I've not really seen on vinyl before. And this is the case for this one. This is um, this is actually a Canadian pressing. And I had no clue this even came out on vinyl in Canada. So, yeah. And it's in unbelievable condition. Original inner sleeve. I'm quite fond of early Lenny Kravitz. Ginger Baker's Air Force, double album. And it's a really weird one, how it folds out and whatnot. So a little, I'll show you this side. This is an original Polydor pressing, double record. Um, I'm a super massive uh, Ginger Baker fan. Uh, love Cream, love Blind Faith, and a lot of his uh, stuff he did outside of Cream and Blind Faith is really good. Air Force, the Air Force is one of them. Uh, the album he made with Fela Kuti is really good. Uh, to, uh, if you're looking to uh, investigate some Ginger Baker stuff, some later stuff, he did a really amazing album with Masters of Reality. Check that one out. And then he did a Hawk, he did one Hawkwind album called Levitation, which is actually super good. It's not really space rocky. It's more kind of a hard rock, dare I say, almost metal album. And then he did an album, I don't remember if it's early 90s, late 80s, uh, called B, uh, BBM with Jack Bruce and Gary Moore. And that album is fantastic. So if you're looking to uh, investigate some Ginger Baker stuff apart from Cream and Blind Faith, I recommend those. And I was really excited to find this today. This is one of the, the gaping holes in my Ginger Baker collection. That's no more now. So there you go. Next up, and I, as you can tell, my tastes are all over the place because you got glam metal, you got new wave or British heavy metal, Diamond Head, you got Ginger Baker, you got Lenny Kravitz, and then you got stereo MCs. 
connected. And like I said, my tastes run all over the place and I was very excited to find this album. Uh, never have I seen this before. And this is a UK import copy. And I got this for a really good price. Um, so this, that was a no brainer today. So that really wasn't a whole lot off my trade credit for that one. Uh, two more. Uh, this completes my In Excess collection. Full Moon Dirty Hearts, I got a copy of today. This and uh, Welcome to Wherever You Are, the album that preceded this one, I believe. They're very rare birds in this part of the world. I think everywhere, judging by Discogs and eBay prices. Um, and I did get a copy of Welcome to Where, Wherever You Are last week. Um, and that was on eBay. And this one I didn't have to, I got this today. An album that I don't think did very well that I absolutely love. Um, I think Ray, Ray Charles is on this album actually. And uh, another collection is now complete. I got one more to show you. And this was an amazing, uh, just an amazing find. The fact that it's King Crimson is one thing and finding decent condition King Crimson, you know, that's always half the battle. Um, so I found a copy of Lark's Tongue in Aspic, which is pretty amazing to itself and I would have bought it there. But this is a promo DJ copy. So right there, there was, a, and it's a, a US copy Right there, that sealed the deal. I mean, I would have taken it anyways, but to find uh, a promotion DJ copy, that was really exciting. And it's an album I, I don't have on vinyl to start with. So it's a, it's a double kind of slight heart attack moment to find that. So there you go. That was the final find of the day. So like I said, that was... Uh... Sorry about that. That's three videos in three days, and uh, I don't want to wear my welcome, but there's so many nice people who have been leaving very nice comments, and there's that one person who, within minutes of me posting videos, dislikes it right away. Ah. Hi to that person. So, anyways, like I said, um, it's been a lot of fun connecting with um, other vinyl collectors on YouTube. Um, it's been really nice to watch your videos, um, and I'm I'm really happy that people have been seemingly enjoying my videos and uh, the things I've been finding. So, cheers to you all. Um, probably, like I said, I won't make another video for a bit. So, uh, this is David Michael from the Vinyl Community. Take care, everyone.